What's up, Conrad? Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I can show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay, cool. Prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Uh, I'm looking to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. What? I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. I'm good. Mm. Actually, you know what? Bug it. Why not? Uh, your vicar? Vicar Maximilian. Our man from the OSI. Here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. You don't seem to like him much. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. I don't understand a word you just said. I mean that I can't possibly pay my gravesite fees. So why the fuck did you just not say that? I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. I didn't know I what he meant, but the character. I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. I have to be, if only to prepare myself for my inevitable dressing down at the hands of corporate. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction, with my apologies. Hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Much obliged. Wait, wait, wait. So. No. I'm not going to do that. So. Let's do. Wait, where is this one? Oh, fuck. That's, okay, that's way up there. What about... Oh, that's a... Oh, I can sell shit here. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Um. And this one is right there. We're gonna go. We're gonna do this one for now. What can I do for you? Got some questions. Go ahead. You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. Uh, what do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. <laughs> what you're describing sounds a lot like a flu. Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. Why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Uh, whose idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Nope. Thoughtful looking fellow stares out of his I don't want to meet him right now. That's all for now. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, so if I can find something... Oh! But if I mention it to him and then he... Agrees to an IOU kind of thing. Well, let's go do these other quests first, just uh, just in, just because. Okay, I definitely need a drink. Oh, that didn't even take it all away. Oh, okay. We're gonna need a lot of water and food. Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking hell, it's on the other side. Actually, no, well, fuck it. We'll uh we'll run over there. Edgewater Cemetery. Alright. Wait, what? Ah. I think I went out the wrong fucking door. I don't know. We can get it. We can get over there from here. It looks like. Well, I didn't save it, so. If I don't fucking die here. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Are you going to attack me? Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. This is a junkyard, not a repair bay. Navigation systems have determined this location as Spacer's Choice. Designated mechanical repair bay. Attempting to misdirect or confuse a spacer's choice mechanical is a punishable offense. Oh, fuck Please you. Report yourself to your supervisor. Are you damaged? Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. I don't have time for this. 
Wait, what does he want me to do now? Boy said he spotted a forward scout of the mechanical army north of the landing pad. As a test of your metal, he's requested you dispose of the scout in the name of humanity. I mean, I can do that. Metal ring inset with a gemstone. This ring has an unidentified gemstone inset into its metal accent frame. It's probably not going to let you buy a new spaceship, but it's definitely worth a few bits. Okay. So, should I kill it? Yeah, fuck it, let's kill it. Die, robot! Oh shit, it's shooting me. Boom! My name is Vulnerable, okay. Ooh. He did feelings too. I got a backpack? Huh? Alright, let's return. Weapon mod, install mods at workbench, upgrade your weapons. Yep. I got a mod. Oh, wait, is that a backpack? Maybe the backpack's the mod? Yeah, the backpack might be the mod. <gasps> Soldier. You won't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out of its head case? Actually, don't no, I just beat it with the stick. Use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. I like how you think. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid a secret, you hid your secret weapon in a lavator lavatory. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Okay, I'll let you be. Oh, f f fuck it, I guess. I guess that's where we're going. Wait. I got 86. Ugh. I mean, once I. Once I get enough money, I'll, uh, I'll be fine for, like, getting water and food and stuff. I know the beginning's probably going to be a little rough, but I think we'll be fine. Wait, wait. You're a vendor, aren't you? I don't know you. No, you don't. Um, I'm Amrath. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. <laughs> Holy shit, that last one. Jesus. Um, and what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. Hmm. What well, kind of problems? Gotta ask you to enjoy Quest your problems? The premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Eh. Uh, what's this about deserters? <laughs> Traitors. A lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. 
Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Damn. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Uh... I want to talk to Reed. Where can I find him? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. If you want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower <laughs> atop the cannery. And you'll get yourself a proper dress. I don't have any duties. You say that like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Fair enough. Uh, there's something I wanted to ask you. Go ahead. So what's your story? I don't see how that's any of your business. Wow. There's no need to be rude. Need for you to pry either. Just fucking asking. I was trying to make some conversation here. What if I told you I just got shot into space by a crazy scientist? Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. I'm not joking. My escape pod landed in the hills. On top of a guy. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. It almost sounds like you're afraid to go outside. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. I don't want that. I think that's a mistake, living your life on everyone else's terms. There you go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous? Yeah. I've said enough. People come here thinking is dangerous. The if they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. Uh, okay, I should go. Ye wait. I want to buy a drink, though. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. You tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. <laughs> wow, can you say it with a little more enthusiasm? Uh, I'll have a drink. Coming right up. Merchant skill. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dollar skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Oh, so it's my intimidate. Cool. Okay, we got a lot of shit to sell. I think. Um. Mm. I guess we'll keep the ammo. Keep this. I should probably wear this instead of the, uh, probably wear this instead of the uh, marauder thing i got man but we'll keep that uh no we'll keep that yeah this is junk though so get rid of this Oh. Shit. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I wanna I wanna buy a couple more waters.
Oh, plain and pure water. There it is. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna buy a couple of these. Not four. I'm gonna buy two. Alright, so I come to you if I need water. Okay. Not fair. Wait, where is this not? What the fuck? Pick up sealed bundle. Return to Ludwig. Okay. Does it say? It does not say. All right. Um, that's right, because my strength is down. I'm tired. Oh, 40, baby. Hell yeah. Ooh. Can make them unblockable. Um. Probably just do. Um, I kind of want to get my dialogue. Mm, get leadership up more. Don't have any perks yet. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We're fine. I'm fine with this thirst for now. Hey, you interesting people. You are. What up, Winslow? Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Hell yeah, I am. Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? I've been asking myself that same question. Oh, I ask myself questions all the time. For example, why do we spend money on these fancy latrines when we have a perfectly good wall outside? Uh, I think you've had a little too much to drink. Actually, no such thing. Um, I'm leaving. Uh, hungry. So hungry is strength, charm, and perception. Okay. I think we're fine, though. Probably not, but... Um, yeah, let's return to him. Wait, wait, wait. Is this gonna be the right... No, I wanna go southeast. I'm gonna go out... Oh, shit, which way is that? I wanna go... I wanna go out this way. If you're falling sick, I don't wanna... No, I'm not falling sick, don't worry. Yeah, this is the one. Go out. I'm gonna have to go back to my ship soon and rest. And save it. At least I can fast travel in my ship. That's nice. What's up? I got your I got your special package. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a ground... Mag to zap. <laughs> you stick a couple thousand volts in its guts with compliments from old Ludwig. Sounds like fun. Fun? This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. What do you expect to find down there? I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Okay, so mechanical brain. Uh, how am I supposed to get one of these logic modules? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its core. 
You're gonna have to find an impact model somehow. Okay, seems simple enough. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, I think... Oh, I wanna... I wanna go talk to Silas about this quick, actually. He said he didn't give him an IOU. And he said he was... Wait, what? Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. Hey, about those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? Conrad says he can't afford to pay. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners, skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Are you suggesting extortion? Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. I'll take a look. Well, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Or I could do it. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to go... Hmm. Actually, no. Let's keep doing. Let's keep doing this one. Old fucking uh, what's his nuts? Conrad ain't getting. He's paying his fucking dues. What can I do for you? Wait, what is my medicine normally? Oh, it is. Oh, shit. Alright, so, okay, what we're gonna do, actually, is we're gonna go heal. We're gonna go rest. Save. Or we're gonna rest, drink, eat, save. Actually, it depends on what happens after this. Okay, so where do I sleep? Fuck, where's my bed? Where's my bed? That ain't where my bed is. Where's my bed? Oh, they're all fucking sealed. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Here. Fuck. Yo, bitch, where do I sleep? Until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Ah, oh, fuck. Then I hurt myself. Where do I fucking sleep? Uh. Oh, there's another. There's another staff. Is there not? Oh, there we go. Sleep. Uh, yeah, sleep for eight hours. Sure. Rest in your bed is relaxing moves time forward. And zooming over to difficulty, you can only rest in your bed on your shoulder. Okay. Now, do I have enough skill? Ooh. Ooh. I do. Okay. But, we need to drink some water. I thought I had four. Nope, I only had three. I lied. Uh... Okay, so now we're all good. I need to buy more water, though, from her. Oh, I didn't save it. Fuck, I gotta save it. 